guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this one, we are going to give you a brief overview of Lightburn's art library. Uh, very easy to use, very beneficial. Uh, it will be a time saver for stuff that you use and reference frequently. So as you can see over here in the top corner, I have my art library already up and I have it selected to birthdays. Now I have a few, uh, you can obviously, you can fill this uh, put as many files and folders in it as you want. Um, like I have an American one where I have a, a you know a couple. Uh, I'm I'm building this as well. I, I'm getting used to using this uh, frequently. But if if once I have my graphics populated in there, they're very easy to reference. All I have to do is grab them and drop them in. Um, I do a lot of tumblers, so if I wanted to use my tumbler that would bring my tumbler in there and you know, I, I do proofs for the client so it'd be really easy for me to just grab that change the color uh, have it set to fill and then use this as an overlay and then I could send it to the customer so let's say I wanted to add a new library we would just click on the new button uh, make sure that it's referencing the correct file. Uh, I keep most of my Lightburn saves in one location. Uh, I have noticed that with new updates, uh, sometimes it refreshes this. So having a reference area or a common folder is going to be very beneficial. Uh, so I want to create a library that is called Common Shapes or Basic Shapes. going to go into my Lightburn folder and save. Uh, sure, we'll replace it. Okay, so now I have a basic shapes folder or library uh, that can be filled and then reloaded or unloaded uh, depending on if you want to use it. So let's just make a quick square and going to make sure it's selected and then I'm going to import graphic from project and then I'm going to name it and there you have it so if you have graphics that you typically reference um, you can have them all loaded in here drag and drop them and reuse them it's it's really that simple um, if we wanted to if, uh, if I wanted to add to my birthday graphics and I wanted to do a Google search uh, basically I would do a Google search for you know, black and white image uh, labeled for reuse with modifications so I can edit it a little bit and then it's mine uh, let's see I like that sweet 16 one with the lips um, this graphic is of great quality and size so I will right click on it and copy my image and paste so now that we have our graphic imported I would do a trace on it uh, let's see, fade the image make sure that our lines are okay this one's kind of pixelated but it looks all right it, it's uh, it smoothed out the lines for the most part get rid of this graphic and now I just want to add this one to birthdays. So I would select that, click on birthdays, and then import graphic from project. We'll rename it to sweet 16. And click OK. And now it's part of your art library. And that's the basics of it. It's fairly simple to use, very beneficial. Uh, take advantage of it. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.